Hey guys, it's Eliza from Eliza Tall and Play 99, and today we are testing out the Too Faced and Kat Von D Better Together collaboration. It retails for $65 USD, and you can get it on the Sephora website, the Too Faced website, and the Kat Von D website. Today, I will be pitting the two shadows against each other to see which brand has the best eyeshadow. Before we really get started, I wanted to give a shout out to the packaging, which is super, super awesome. It was really, really creative that the two sides of the palette can be broken apart with like a magnetic closure. And I thought both brands stayed very true to themselves with the um, kind of sweet pink and gold for Too Faced and then the more dangerous looking silver and black for Kat Von D. And I'm going to be putting each on the respective eye that I just pointed to. On my right eye, I went in with the Too Faced portion of the palette and I used Frinspiration to create a halo effect. So I'm putting that on my inner and or outer corners and blending it together. I did not think this was going to work super well, but I was really impressed by the blendability of the shimmer shadow and it made a pretty nice transition color. And I'm just blending that in with circular motions and windshield wiper motions until it is seamless. I am next going in with a tapered blending brush in the color Power Couple, which is a deep brown with flecks of gold sparkles. This color actually ended up working really nicely to deepen up the inner and outer corners. I didn't expect it to because there was a lot of shimmer in it, but the shimmer ended up not showing up too well, which actually worked to my advantage in this particular look. With a flat blending brush, I am blending the colors Power Couple and Friendspiration together to create a more seamless halo eye look. To brighten up my lid, I'm taking my Naked Skin Concealer and patting it in the middle of my eye and blending that out with a flat concealer brush. taking Lovely on a flat brush and packing it onto the center of my lid, I found that this color was not very pigmented, which tends to happen with lighter warm tones. After going in with Lovely, I'm taking the same tapered blending brush as before and really trying to blend everything together. To balance out this top heavy look, I'm going in with Better Together and running that on my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the ink liner, which came with the collection, and I'm trying to create a really thin line, but eyeliner never really goes as planned, so it ended up being kind of a thick line, but you know, I'm just trying to make things work, but I really did like the eyeliner, and it definitely competes with my favorite, which is the, the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner, which is a lot cheaper, but works really well and stays all day. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara has been the best mascara I've ever used. I was planning to put on false lashes today, but this mascara was so awesome that I really just didn't because I didn't feel the need to because I usually feel the need to because my lashes suck. But this is an awesome mascara and it really pumped up the volume and thickness of my lashes and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever tried and I loved it. Next, I am moving on to the Kat Von D side of the palette, and I wanted to do something very shocking, so I tried to use Pore Vita um, as my lid color, and it ended up being too chalky and way too white for me. So uh, it kind of made everything look very, very gray. So I do not recommend using Pore Vita as a all-over lid color, even if you are very, very pale like myself. Next, I'm going in with the shade Yours, which I found to be chalky. It is a medium gray and it did not blend very well with the shade Pour Vita and it kind of created a bit of a mess. With a tapered blending brush, I am taking the color Devotion, which is a matte black on my outer V and deepening it slightly at first, but then I kind of get carried away. <laughs>
I decided to do a cut crease so I took some concealer in the color Pore Vita and tried to cut the lid but um, the two products didn't seem to mix too well so you know next time I will know. In this clip I am removing the fallout from the color Devotion. The color I'm absolutely in love with from this palette is the color Swoon. The first time I saw it, I was like, I have to use this as eyeliner and I will use it. So I took an angled brush and some water and mixed some of the shadow up on my hand to create an eyeliner like consistency. I didn't apply it too neatly though, so I ended up going in with a makeup remover wipe and sharpening up the edges later. So my final thoughts are pretty much that this is a really awesome idea. I think it's great that two um, makeup companies came together and united instead of attacking each other, which is really awesome. And I think more companies should definitely do that. And both of these are such reputable, great companies that I think this is an awesome idea. And the shadows in here are good quality. Uh, however, I do like the Too Faced side better. It's probably because I'm a little bit biased because I love Too Faced shadows. They blend very easily, but they are not the most pigmented in the world. And Kat Von D, her shadows are very pigmented. However, they are a little bit hard to blend. I had a lot of trouble blending that gray color, especially, um, especially mixing the gray and the white. It got all um, very cool toned and very unflattering at a certain point that I had to go back and fix it. Uh, nonetheless, I do think that this is a very good palette and I love the colors in here. They really spoke to me, especially that red that I tried to use as a liner that didn't work out super well. But I still think this is a great idea and if you're looking for a way to try out both of these brands, this is an awesome option. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope you will learn something and comment down below if you think you would get this. I'd love to hear about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to subscribe. And otherwise, I will see you all later. Bye.